for you. It's Libby Air from LibbyAir.com and I come to you with my main favorites. Oh, this is my favorite type of video. I seriously love watching these and I love doing them because I have accumulated lots of fun goodies that I have been seriously my favorite in the month of May. Whew. All right, the first thing that we're gonna talk about is gonna be my ultimate favorite thing of all time. Not of all time, of like the whole universe. But, <laughs> I don't even know how to start. I wear makeup and I love makeup and I love trying new brands all of the time. And sometimes I'm very pleased and sometimes I'm really disappointed at the products. But with this one, I seriously, like I could have this and probably nothing else and I would be set to go. This is the Naked Skin Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This is honestly the best concealer I have ever worn in my entire life. It does not crease in the fine lines. It it literally when it says weightless, it feels super weightless. Especially I love it because Sacramento summers are crazy. It's going to be like 110 today. No, 106, but still super hot. So when it's hot and you have all this meltiness going on in your face, the last thing you want is to feel so much just like product in your pores and just blah, blah, blah. I absolutely love this concealer. You will not regret purchasing this thing. It is amazing. The only thing that I recommend is setting it with a loose powder is going to be crucial though for it to stay and for it to not crease in the little fine lines. So that's my very first most amazing favorite thing of May. Next, I love that, it's probably not gonna look good with this dress on, but I love that little neck scarves are in, in mode. I don't know, that's not the right word. I love it that they're in style right now. For summer, these little neckties are so cute. You can put, I don't know, does that look cute? I don't know, I don't know, I can't say myself, but I love that this is back in trend right now. You can wear a simple little jean short and a white t-shirt and you pop one of these on your neck, you are good to go, girlfriend. One of the other things that I love is this L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I love dewy skin. Who doesn't? Especially in the spring and summertime, I love looking dewy and not shiny, but just like my skin has a very healthy glow. This is amazing because I will use this when I don't have any makeup on and it just catches all the light. It's beautiful on my skin. I don't know, um, I don't know about if you have dry skin or I think if you have dry skin, this would be a good product. If you have oily skin, this might not be as good because you don't want that extra shine, but it just depends on your skin type um, and what you're going for with your look and the feel that you wanna go for. I love being dewy, so this is an awesome must. So I wear this when I'm not wearing any makeup at all. I also grab it and I either put it on as a primer before my foundation or sometimes I will mix it with my foundation and it creates just a beautiful sheen and glow to my skin. Another favorite that I just recently found, well I have two favorite in foundations right now. One is a very, very inexpensive and drugstore brand and the other one is a more costly, uh, higher end brand. Um, I'm gonna talk about the higher end brand right now. This one's the Becca Cosmetics, and this is in medium. It's the Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, sorry, I just, I just caught a glimpse of my husband taking his skateboard to his work, and, and he has lots of things in his hand. That was really cute and funny and adorable. My husband's adorable. Anyway, so this this foundation is, oh my gosh, I can't, I'm wearing it right now. I think it's just gorgeous and beautiful. It's weightless. It covers everything. It's buildable. It's, uh, I think it's a cross between a matte and a dewy. It's, I don't know. I just, if you put translucent powder over it, it becomes more matte. But if you leave it without a whole lot of uh, powder, then it becomes a luminous, dewy, foundation. I absolutely love it. I also love this True Match Lumi Cushion L'Oreal. I think I already mentioned this in, in another video. Oh, I mentioned it in my spring and summer look where I did my makeup, but this thing is amazing. For the, the money that you pay for it, it is literally an amazing, amazing product. It is so pigmented and, and it feels weightless, but it covers everything and it gives you just a really beautiful, healthy glow. 
try it my friend if you haven't tried it a thing that I need to give you a tip about though when buying your foundation is to make sure that when you match your foundation you match it to your neck okay don't match the foundation to your face because most of the time we tan more on our bodies than we do on our face so if you go and you match your foundation to your face you're going to be shades lighter in your face and it's going to show up in pictures and it's just going to look weird and odd make sure that you go to some place that is going to um, let you play with the foundation first and foremost i feel like when your foundation is a big deal because that's like your base and if you wear makeup a lot or all the time or not at all it, it or not at all not this doesn't make sense if you don't wear makeup at all. But if you do wear makeup and you do wear foundation, that's the thing that you wear most of the time and it's all over your face. So you want to make sure that you buy a product that you are going to be in love with, but also that is going to match you and your skin. And if you match it to your neck and your body here, it's going to make sure that you are all even and not like a white face ghost. Like I, I that's, And I'm telling you because this is what I used to do recently. I didn't even know about this until maybe a month ago or something and it was like boom, revolutionized my world. Another thing that I like because obviously I love to apply my foundation with a brush but I do apply my concealer with a with a beauty blender and I like the, I used to buy the beauty blender but it's so expensive. I gave this one a shot. It, this is the real technique and it comes with two in the package. One of them I'm using right now and I love it because it's not that expensive and you don't feel as bad tossing out a sponge. When I used to toss my other ones, I was like, oh my gosh, there goes 20 bucks down the drain. Oh, I just spit everywhere. But anyway, this is a really nice sponge because it has this little side where that you could do your face and then this little point you could use for your under eye. And I squeeze it under the faucet maybe like 10 times and then I wring it out really, really well and I um, take a little towel and take the excess moisture off but this is awesome because what it does when you bounce the the sponge onto the product is it gets it in the pores it makes it nice and incorporated with everything else and it takes off any excess product that you maybe you know you went a little overhand with your concealer um, but it takes the excess off so I really like the real technique <laughs> I really like a real technique. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Another thing that I absolutely love that I just found out about was this drugstore eyeliner. Oh my gosh, friends. Seriously, I have tried, not every, but I've tried higher end eyeliners and lower end eyeliners. And the problem is always either it gets everywhere and it just goes out of place and it melts off or you put it on and then as the day goes on it fades and it doesn't stay the truest black and girl when you've worked that hard on getting your wings even and right you don't want the thing going anywhere or fading on you so this Maybelline eye studio it's called the let's see black is black eye studio Maybelline yeah that's how you can find it eye studio Maybelline and it comes with a little pencil that's what I use, the little pencil that comes with it. I know some people are really um, all about going to get a professional straight edge brush. And maybe at some point I'll get one of those. But I use the one that comes with it and I find no issue with that at all. But I recommend that for sure, especially if you live somewhere that is hot and you're sweating. I can't say that it'll stay on if you get like splashed with water. I don't have it. That hasn't happened to me, so I can't say that it will stay with that, but I will vouch for it for being the blackest, most truest of color and stays on forever. I fell asleep the other day and when I got up, I was like, girl, you still got your wings on. You still got it, girl, 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 girl. Why am I being so weird? Okay, moving on. Something else that I love that has nothing to do with cosmetics, but oh my gosh, seriously, the collection by Chesapeake Bay in Iris Organza, circa 2007. I just want to take a moment of silence for this candle. I don't even know how to express my feelings into words right now. This smells like, 
don't even know you guys it smells like heaven to me it literally like, it makes me feel happy it makes me feel so good it makes me feel oh invigorated so i would love to be sponsored by the collection chesapeake bay candle if you want to send me iris organzas all day long i will take them and i will light them up all day long all the day long it is the best smelling candle i have ever smelled in my entire life and i would i just i just love this i love it so much i don't know what i'm gonna do on this one i've already this is my third you guys this is my third candle that's how crazy I am about it. I love it so much. That's it. Okay, another thing that I love the smell of is this You're Amazing Clean On Up. And I love that it says You're Amazing because, you know, I'm taking a shower and I'm like, oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, this is in the Vanilla Bean and it's a body wash. I went to Target the other day and I grabbed a product and I opened it up and a little bit of the product left its residue on my fingers. It was a little scrub. I, you probably shouldn't be saying this. You probably shouldn't be doing that in the store. But anyway, I opened it up because I'm a rebel and I wanted to smell it and see what it what it felt like because I hate buying exfoliants that don't really have that grit, you know? So I didn't want to buy it before knowing if it had the grit. But oh my gosh, I just kept smelling it and I was like, oh, this smells amazing. So I figured that the same smell would be on the body wash so I just bought the body wash and it is and it's not like other um what's it called it's not like other body washes where you wash it and you get the scent just in the shower when you get out of the shower the scent is still with you it's still with you it smells so good I love it I love it so very much and I love the packaging um but more than anything I just love the way it smells and that's that's it oh I have one more thing one more May favorite and it is a scripture and I love it because I made new cards I don't know if you guys if this is your first time watching me you probably don't know this but I, I, I'm a little bit of a nerd and I love the Bible and I love writing note cards for the season that I'm going through at this moment um, and I put on all the things that I'm struggling with and I pray that God would give me scripture to battle it and to help me and to heal me and to soothe me and to comfort me with his word and this is one of the scriptures that I got that was very helpful right now in this season of my life and I thought I would share it with you and it's Psalm 84 11 and I wrote out the psalm but sort of catering it to me so this isn't verbatim what you would find on the Bible. It's just me crafting a prayer specifically for me so that I could read it over myself and that I could just like meditate on that word and meditate on what God is trying to tell me with Psalm 84, 11. So here it goes. It says, you Lord are my sun and shield. You know, I need that reminder because Sometimes I could feel lonely. I could feel like no one is looking out for me and like I have to fend for everybody and nobody is here to fend for me. So it is good to, to remind me that God is my son and my shield and that he shields me and that he is going to take care of me. So, okay, sorry, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just read it. So you, Lord God, are my son and shield. You, my father, bestow present grace and favor and future glory honor, splendor, and heavenly bliss to me. No good thing will you withhold from me. I can't mess up what grace did for me on the cross. Sometimes I get so worried that either God is going to withhold something from me because I'm not acting the right way or that I'm going to mess up so badly that he isn't going to love me and i know that that's like a deep-seated root in me of just performing for love because for a very long time i felt like i had to be good and do good in order to be rewarded with love you know and with attention and god is continuously telling me girlfriend it is not by what you do it's by what i did and i need to remember that i'm not god that I'm not perfect, that he is the perfect one and he's the one who has given me his favor and his honor and his glory and I don't have to worry about him ever not giving me what is good, you know, or that I don't have to worry about messing it up. I hope that you're encouraged that you 
as big of a mess as you might feel if you feel like you're a mess some people don't feel like they're a mess but I feel like I'm a mess most every day and when I'm not that's when I'm a bigger mess because <laughs> that means I'm just being proud and my pride and my ego are taken over but I just like to be reminded that there's nothing I can do to mess up what grace did for me on the cross so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video whoa I'm getting crazy here <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I would love to hear if you have any products that have been your favorite in this past couple months. I love you so very much. I, I want you to know that I'm so grateful for you. I don't take you for granted. I thank God for you and I'm just so grateful that you are a part of my purpose and my calling. And I just thank you so much for watching this video. I love you. Have a great and wonderful day. Bye.